Hello. So this video explains how to connect Narain 3-phase uh, Smart Connect mobile controller to a normal DOL MK1 type starter. So this is how the starter looks like and this is our Smart Connect. The Smart Connect will include adapter and the main controller with all the wirings already made for you. So you will get these wires out and then apart from that you will have an antenna. So you will, you will have an antenna here. You need to purchase a SIM card any sim card apart from geo network is okay and then uh, you will have these three cts so cts along with the wires will be provided with the product so we will we will now set it up step by step first thing would be uh, connecting the antenna into the uh, you know connector this is the antenna connector so this antenna should be connected to the antenna connector it should be tightened like this all right so this antenna can be placed uh, at a higher altitude then uh, we can uh, next move on to the CT connections. So CT connectors are provided here. So these three connectors are for the three CTs. So the CTs are already provided along with the package with these connectors and the CT uh, name will be marked here behind the connectors. You can just see R, Y and B. These are the naming which are given behind the CTs. So R, Y and B. So you can assume uh, this to be the R connector, the leftmost center is the Y connector and the uh, the last one on the right hand side is the B phase uh, CT connector. Okay. So then uh, you just need to plug those respective connectors into the uh, plugs. So this R will go into the R connector. You can just tighten it so that the connectors will lock. Then B Y to Y and then B to B. So Y to the second one then B to the third one. Okay, these are the CT connections. Then uh, the, the other side you have these kind of CTs provided. The okay, CTs will have respective connectors and the wires coming out. The other side we have already made the connections and this is the incoming to the starter. So these three connectors you can assume this to be fuse through which you are driving the main three phase power supply. The three wires would, would be uh, coming into the starter like this to these points red, yellow, blue, the, these three thicker wires. So these three wires should be passed inside the holes provided in the CD. So this is for the R, this is for the R, this is for the Y and this is for the B. So all the three independent lines will be passed through three different CD holes and that wire will, will be connected to the starter. So this is about the CT connections. So we are done with part two that is the part one is the antenna. The next part was the CT connectors and the third part would be these main wires which should be connected into the starter. So you are totally given seven wires, the first set being red, yellow, blue, then the second set is two green wires and the third set is two grey wires. So the first red, yellow, blue, these three wires should be given to the incoming three phase supply. So if you can just have a look at the starter's input, this is where the incoming three phase supply is connected to the starter. So you need to connect this red, yellow and blue, these three wires in parallel. So on top of the existing uh, three phase connectors. Okay. So this is the supply connectors wherein you are connecting the red, yellow, blue wires. Then you have a set of green wires, two green wires. So these green wires should be connected across on push button or in parallel to the start push button. We will quickly have a look how to do that. So these are the start push button points. These two points are the start push button points. So this is the start push button of the starter. These are the start push button points. So the two green wires which are coming out of the uh, connector should be uh, the coming out of the smart connect mobile controller should be connected to these two connectors. So none of the wires should be removed. Uh, these two wires should be connected on top of the existing wires. So one green wire will go to this particular connector and the second green wire will be connected to the, the second uh, connector. Okay. So this is about the on button parallel connection. Then uh, you are left with two gray wires. These two grey wires should be connected in series with the stop push button or the off push button of the starter. So if you can just see uh, the starter, there will be a link, there will be a wire which is connecting uh, these two points. Okay. This is this is the off push button and these two points are the off push button points. And there will be a wire connecting from the last connector to the coil of the starter. So you will have to remove this particular wire which is connecting this to this, the coil to the stop push button. and then the two grey wires which are coming out of the smart connect one of the grey wire should be connected to this point where you remove the earlier wire and the second grey wire should be connected to this point so this is where you remove the, the wire which is connecting and instead of this you are connecting two grey wires one to this point and the other to this point so this is what we mean by <coughs> series 
connection to the stop push button so this is about the third part of the connections which are the wires to be connected and the fourth part would be connecting the sim so any sim card will work so apart from geo any uh, any other sim card is okay so as you can see a sim card will have a small notch here so this notch part should go inside so this is the uh, sim card tray you can just slide in the sim card inside the tray so this is about the sim card connection so once everything is set up you can just power on so as soon as you power on you can see uh, you know uh, the device powering up and this led is for the network connection led so this led if it is blinking continuously this means it is the sim card is not connected to the network and if it starts to blink once in every 2 seconds that means the sim card is connected to the network you can now see the led blinking once in 2 seconds so this means the sim card is connected to the network okay so this is a very simple setup of uh, this particular star, the controller you need not depend on anyone to do the connections so what we would recommend is we would recommend the user themselves to get this uh, uh, setup done so that uh, they'll be uh, well versed with the wiring and all the connections so very simple setup it hardly takes around 10 to 15 minutes time to set this up and i hope this video was helpful any queries you can always reach us out on 9972243774 i repeat it's 9972243774 and you can also browse our website www.narenelectrics.in for our different products and if you want to purchase the products you can always give us a call or reach us out uh, through whatsapp to the same number thank you for watching this video